Hello, this is Not A Spring Chicken. This is our vlog number four, which is for our anime show number five. <laughs> and the actual show day number three. <laughs> yeah, remember? Our, our, of the entire NAB number. It's our fourth it, vlog. It, it's our fourth vlog, but they were there since Friday. So this is the third day. This is the third day of the NAB show. And the fifth day... Oh, I'm thinking of the exhibits. Yeah, Somebody the exhibits, but the show, the show actually started, uh, the conference has started Friday before we got here. Mm -hmm. so, I know you're going, is that all kind of confusing? It is, yeah. <laughs> Trying to so, figure out because there's conferences that we wanted to well, go yeah, to. Yeah, there's conferences that started beforehand, and then, what, and then they continue on. Yeah, through the entire show. Because okay. right now they're having Brazil, conference in Brazil. If you speak Portuguese, you're in really good shape. If you don't, you're in trouble. So here's the exciting part is, first of all, is this part is not exciting, is we had to go back a little bit earlier than we would have liked to because we had a small family emergency with um, the Monty Bubbles, the chair dog, um, so we had to come back. But, you know, the exciting part is, is our live streaming is like really coming to fruition because we've been like racking our brain, yeah, it's like, part of it in going to show is getting information as to what you're going to report about because we are still doing reporting, right? And equipment needs for what we need to do to continue and, and pulling it all in together. Now, if we had $10,000, it would have made things a whole lot easier to go invest in new equipment. But since we're trying to do it like many of the other smaller organizations and a lot of people, trying to be able to do it on a smaller, tighter budget, utilize what you have existing and making it work. Mm -hmm. so so if you've got... Fifteen to thirty thousand dollars. Anybody can go live with fifteen to thirty thousand dollars. But the problem is, most places, including the stations, don't have fifteen to thirty thousand. Right. And that doesn't count. That's for the purchasing stuff. It runs you a thousand to twenty-five hundred dollars a month for the services that go with it. Yeah. It's just for cost prohibitive to the small. Yeah. The so small I mean, think people. about the small stations. It's like how many live things can they do? You know, I mean, it's, it just starts adding up and up and up. You're like, oh, aren't they making it back on advertising? Well, you know, it still is equipment cost. It's always equipment cost. Right? It's just like paying your basic overhead, like your rent or your housing or, you know what I mean, your car. Um, so that's all included. But here's the exciting part is we now know we can wrap it up for under, for thousand dollars or under. So we're just getting the final details like uh, and, and it temporarily for as low as forty five dollars a month for yeah. the for your for your bandwidth. I mean this basically doesn't mean you're gonna be doing it every single day. This is forty five a month for special occasions. Mm -hmm. But you can also sell commercial advertising. Uh, mm -hmm. a lot of people we know are using free streaming but they can't it's not commercial. We, so. we want to be able to monetize it because part of it is, is yeah, we have to monetize it somewhere. Others do advertise it and you sit there and wait and wait and wait. Um, yeah, because we basically want to monetize it. You know, because you still want to be around to exist for tomorrow. But here's the exciting part is that the NAB show, um, we thought that the show before we went was mainly going to be about second screens. Yeah. Right? In live streaming. In, in live streaming. Second screens is virtually non-existent. Well, you know, it. I know, because we got, had received all that information beforehand, and then once we got there, it just kind of disappeared. It's well, almost kind of like, oh, it's a software issue. It, it's because right? uh, it's a problem with the NAB, is all, uh, since we've been going to uh, really have a war with the Internet. Mm -hmm. They do not like the Internet. Cloud services is Internet. They talk about the cloud. But the second screen takes away from what the big purpose is. It takes away from this television screen. And so it's basically non-existent, whereas the cloud, which is an enhancement for the big screen by sending you material through the cloud, which is actually one server to another, is big broadcasting. Well, here's, I guess you want to call part of the dilemma with the second screen is, first of all, is it does take away your attention from the big screen. Number two is, they're going to do it anyway. Well, we've, we've talked to, we've, we went to the, um, actually we had some nice, con at, here's what you do when you go to the Consumer Electronics Association Forum. It's not as much as what you're learning in the forum itself, it's what you're learning setting at lunch with the people and at the after events when they're all sitting around talking about things. You learn about the things like, People under 30 don't even own television sets. I know, actually, see part of that I didn't know. I mean, I still, I still learned that, okay, you know how you can tell somebody's under 25? They probably don't have a watch. Yeah. <laughs> but, 
Because they didn't see any reason for having a device that was only for a watch. And, and, and your, and your second device. thing, this one came from um, Digital Hollywood, which we went to, which is another thing. How do you tell if someone uh, watches cable television? How? Um, if, they're, if they have a sports package. Oh. If they have no sports package, they are not watching cable television because they don't. Because the only reason for young people to watch cable TV is if they have a sports package. Which was what had surprised us before was that most of the people when you watched this panel under the age of thirty didn't even own a television set. Yeah, like, wow. they said, "Would you see television?" Yeah, I go in my parents' house, and there's a TV there, but I'm using my their second screening. The thing they're not paying. That, okay, uh, well. Not being shaked does the same thing as I do. The television is ambient noise when we're editing videos. It's totally ambient noise. We will sit there and not even realize the show we were intending to watch is gone. Well, that's why I like the DVR, so yeah, I can rewind. Which I never do that. And he though. just lets it go on. It is. It's, it's, it's kind of like white noise. It's just like, okay, People I have... People like, well, why do you do... To me, it's like marking time. Because if the, if the show is an, is an hour, then when it changes shows, you know an hour's up. Because otherwise you're kind of in a black hole of work. But if, if they paid any attention to the fact that I'm, 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 I'm God, I went to college like 1958, that's a long time, so well, you know, but back then I had my television set was on in the background, you know, like Bonanza came on or something, and it was there, and I never paid any attention. I couldn't tell you what the episodes were because I was busy doing, the, my second screen was my, you know, was my, my listening to the music or something and not paying attention or doing my homework. But I never, we were second screening then, but with a, in a different manner. Mm -hmm. So you would have seemed logical, well, if the grandparents were doing it, you can bet that the children basically, they had like uh, the television sets and then they had, you know, the, the, the starts of the computer generation, their television set computer. Mm -hmm. Then it became television set and cell phones and androids and iPads. So that's mm -hmm. the big thing and that um, it should have been big at the NAB because it was big among the Consumer Electronics Association and it affects the screen in front of you because CEA is trying to merge both things together where they can have interact with the content that's on the big screen. So it mm -hmm. should have been a big area to be pushed and it wasn't. Mm -hmm. so. I know. It's kind of crazy. I mean live streaming it's still, well, actually, the, besides live streaming, the other big deal was what process flows, right? Yeah, Storage. It's a, yeah, it's asset. 4K really. cameras. That's yeah. the biggest. Which they do have, but, um, you know, they said, oh, I was it one guy said, what's the difference between a 3K camera and a 4K camera? Uh, about ten thousand dollars. <laughs> that was the. Difference. Oh, did, is, it, is that on your side? Yeah. That's like a cinematographer's joke. Yeah, about ten thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, that was the only difference because they said it gives you a better quality picture than you can use. I love it. That's what the one guy well, said. Well, because you don't have televisions that have for. I mean, but here's part of it: is you want you want to like record it in the highest definition possible. Because then you have more information to manipulate, and then you downsize it, right? Then you downsize yeah, it. And you save it in that larger format, which is what we do. Because yeah, we were shooting in high def long before the systems were capable for, of doing um, it. For, Actually, we just found out that we had the first high def camcorder, didn't we? We have the first, one of the very first high def camcorders we've got, uh, we own. So No, it said world's first. World's but first I was, look, I was world's looking first. up some research. The world's on. first high def camera. Yeah, and um, and uh, we also have its baby brother, which is a year newer, that doesn't that do does most of the same things as that one. But um, the it's all about that. There is no cohesion between the pro side and the consumer side, and there should be an interlocking, like you would not believe, because the pro camp pro equipment ends up as as prosumers and then a consumer. But if you want to hook people. You, you know, you've got to start designing on the pro side to get to the people that are watching stuff. And they're not, it's just like, content is a joke at the NAB. Totally and absolutely a joke. It should, it's in the conferences. But the problem is, if you're looking at equipment, there really is a lot of equipment for people to go see in three or four days. Yeah. And you almost always have to narrow it because um, within a niche, there can be a, a hundred different things within a niche, and you need to talk to as many people as you possibly can. This is talking to them. This is not going by and requesting, scan your thing and get literature. This is going on and asking your questions because mm -hmm. you find out if you ask enough questions, uh, this stuff is all 
divisions of this guy's work. Mm -hmm. We found out that one, one whole stream of equipment comes from Germany. Mm -hmm. And it's basically, it's why you have to wait four weeks is because they're trying to determine whether there's enough reason to repackage the equipment in a different box. Mm -hmm. You have to get all their orders together. Yeah, mm -hmm. then they'll send them to decide whether you can buy it or not. Yeah, so I know, isn't that fun, all the things that you learn. Well, this is, I mean, what you're hearing from us, this is like really hitting the trenches. This is what we are discovering along the way? Okay, part of it. We're no, it is. Everything. We're trying to pass this stuff on to people because we've already written We've already written a piece. We're going to write a couple of more because, in reality, like I said, we can all wrap it up on this side, on her side too. The NAB this year was all about storage and live streaming. Mm -hmm. And storage has to also do with them. Um, asset management of the stuff that is going into storage. And actually that was much of what um, Abbott's press conference, news conference was about, yep. is once you have the information, how do you have that information available that somebody got out, I don't know, at an event, so that you have it available because one of the stations, actually one of the stations you used as, as an example, had 76 stations over 46 different cities. Over right? 46 markets. 46 yeah. markets. So how do you from the field have that content available so that other people can use it. And then it has to be translated what, into multiple forms at the same time. That's what, whether that's people what, are broadcasting it, they're putting it on the internet. They on their mobile. iPads, on their Androids, every, okay, there's a different size, the size differential between the phones and the tablets is a massive amount. Mm -hmm. And uh, you got to think, and there's also the digital rights problem that you have to deal with rapidly because um, you know, they have to figure out whether quickly they can actually put what they've got up without being risk being sued over it. Mm -hmm. And that is a big deal, folks, being sued well, over what Well, one of the things done. is there's content we don't shoot at all because we know there's going to be a problem with the content. In fact, we were just um, communicating with somebody that thought it would be great because they're doing a live performance in 100 cities simultaneously. Well, no, it would have been a good deal, but what happens is we ran into uh, two weeks ago over doing nothing more than having people singing happy birthday to a major, a major fashion designer. And we before it was finished processing, I was notified that uh, there's been a complaint filed about the use of this material. That you know, those even if, that, that, you know, and what we can, you know, since we cannot determine whether you have the rights to use it or not. You must either remove it, or we will remove it and all the other material at the same time. Because they won't even pay, they won't even bother. Because it, if it comes up, if there's a picture in the background, it shouldn't be there. If we no longer show newspapers because uh, New, the L.A. Times got all pissed about us. Uh, I know. The giving them plugs. This is what it was. We were plugging the newspaper, and they demanded we cease and desist. We weren't making money off it. We were telling people go look at the newspaper. Mm -hmm. And they didn't like that, so, and, well, as you know, LA Times is going out of business, so. <laughs> oh, I guess you weren't planning them anymore. <laughs> but these are the things that we learned, and we're going to try to, you know, we're going to be trying to bring them to you on a daily basis, but this is, you know, our, our last vlog for this one. I know, and our vlog from NAB. Until the next trade show when we have vlogs to show you again. Meanwhile, come follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. Um, the websites are www.montebubbles.net and mbnnewsvideoweb.com. But please come and join us for our 3D daily newscast with old camps, comments on the headlines, and the coverage of other events.